This is a very personal movie about a great scientist and man. Getting to know him was made possible by an event in the year 1989. The 9th of November 1989 was the real start of the following close relations between a former West Berlin University and the scientific institutions of the city of Tomsk. First visits were initiated by Professor Ostermeyer and with his successor Professor Popov began an intensive exchange between Tomsk and Berlin. Wie Sie vielleicht dem Vorlesungsverzeichnis bereits entnommen haben, ist mein Name Popov. In 2005, an international conference on friction took place at the TU Berlin. In the same year followed the participation in an earthquake excursion to Lake Baikal, with a continuation the following winter. In April 2006, the next friction meeting followed, and in the summer, it was the year of the Soccer World Championship, a series of regular and intense undertakings and visits began. This summer, Professor Psakir and his wife Ludmilla spent several weeks in Berlin. In addition to frequent visits of the Soccer Fan Mile, the faculty of Professor Popov also made a trip to Leipzig. The most famous inhabitant of Leipzig was the great composer Johann Sebastian Bach. And of course a visit to his St. Thomas Church is a must. But at least as interesting for the friction specialists was the singing bowl. A famous poet has also made Leipzig popular. Johann Wolfgang von Goethe often visited Auerbach's cellar during his studies in Leipzig and here plays a scene of his most famous drama Faust I. And the Institute of Mechanics has its lunch here. <laughs> <laughs> After this common visit to Leipzig, we leave Berlin and with a detour via St. Petersburg, we reach the beautiful city of Tomsk. But in 2006, this is only a stopover because our destination is the village Lysvianka on Lake Baikal. And that's why we only show a very brief impression of the historical Tomsk. So we have the last day in Tomsk. And morning it's the last day in Tomsk. The last day in Tomsk. And tomorrow we will start to pack up <laughs> to transit. This is a, some kind of the training. Training? Be before oh. by cow. Uh, to, to eat <laughs> fish and uh -huh. drink a little bit of vodka. But it's not too big. Some kind of relaxation, to do relax and for health. First three. It's the it's
the collision of the Indian subcontinent with Asia was responsible for the formation of Lake Baikal. The disruptions of the Earth's crust in this region are still active. Again and again it is attacked by strong earthquakes. Scientists from Tomsk, Moscow and Irkutsk are researching the underlying stick-slip mechanisms this summer. No matter what the weather is, every morning at 8 o'clock Professor Psakie takes the way from the hotel to the beach and swims around in the lake. And only then the working day can begin. In the measurements at Lake Baikal, two phenomena are investigated. On the one hand, tensions at a cleft increase exponentially at some level of stress. And on the other hand, small movements can be triggered by a shock load. In addition to the work, there are also visits from well-known scientists and from the television. Какие воздействия, к каким изменениям приводят. Но в основном, как я говорил, уже мы работаем ночью. Рабочий день у нас с двух ночи до пяти утра, когда все тихо, никто не ходит, не ездит, нет солнечной активности и высокую точность приборов. Вот. Но я предлагаю не произносить производственных тостов и не говорить, не превращать в собрание. За любовь. Просто настрой сегодня такой. За истинных хозяев из Иркутской, им примкнувший к ним тост. There is a double degree agreement between the TU Berlin and the TPU in Tomsk. As part of this agreement, in 2007 a group of German students, under the supervision of Professor Popov, visited the TPU for the first time. Everyone was impressed by the appearance of the city and the many young people there. And while the students study or sometimes enjoy the nightlife that lasts until dawn, the officials talk about double degree or play special sports over the weekend. <laughs> Unfortunately, such a study visit always ends way too fast. On the penultimate evening, there is a common walk and on the last evening, an official farewell. Сотрудничество, которое основано не только на науке, но и на человеческих отношениях. 
Так что давай, Валя, будь здоров. Another study visit with students followed in 2008 and only one private encounter with Professor Psakio was possible. But this was really wonderful. In 2010, an expedition to the Altai Mountains took place, and we were allowed to participate. For this purpose, several cars are packed to transport the equipment and the scientists. Before we really start, however, we make a detour to a new industrial park in Tomsk, where young companies are settling. For example, a startup named Aquilit which develops and produces novel nano-water filters. Katun is one of the two source rivers of the Op, and to our destination, the village of Aktash, our journey takes us through a wonderful landscape. The main goal to understand connection between displacements of the fault and the seismic behavior of this area. After a long walk, we found the perfect place for a future measuring. An active crack with the possibility of installing sensors, which can be hidden against the excess of foreigners. However, the transportation of heavy materials is difficult and a smaller generator must be acquired before. So, this location is noted for the next year. If you have a crack with mechanical stresses inside, you can observe two effects, which are also known from friction physics. First, there is a slow movement between its edges, with increasing velocity when the stresses increase. Second, an excitation of the arrangement with impacts will result in irreversible displacement jumps. In this place we see that it is not sufficient to be an outstanding scientist in earthquake research but you also must be a good craftsman and be able to improvise and to do hard physical work. And finally the complete equipment is dismantled and taken back to the waiting vehicles. Our team is connected 
three parts of three parts. The four parts. It's the Institute of Strength, Physics and Material Science, Technical University of Berlin, then Novosibirsk, Institute of Geology and Petrography, and the special part of our team is drivers. And two children. Yeah, the, this is very important. This was the end of our Altai stay in 2010. But since many tasks have not been completed by us, we have to participate in another expedition the following year. And like always, our first trail in Tomsk leads to the war memorial with a view on the Tom River. And then we take a long tour by car to visit the family of Professor Psaki's sister on her dacha at the Chuya River. In 2003, there was a strong earthquake in the Beltir area, destroying many houses, especially concrete and stone buildings. Fortunately, there were no dead or seriously injured people. One of the tasks of the current expedition is to equip the measuring points established last year with sensors. A lot of physical skills were needed on this expedition. For example, a car that had slipped into the ditch had to be moved back onto the road. And at this place we meet a former Olympic champion and he testifies to us that he is still able to reach record-breaking distances in shot put. Unfortunately, Professor Psakie did not participate in the excursion to the Altai Mountains in 2012. That's why this movie scene is the last one I could do with him. Our last pictures come from a meeting in Carlo Vivari in 2015 and therefore we visited the place in the summer. Of course, it is not possible to even begin the characterization of somebody in a 20-minute film. Therefore, these shots can give only a very small insight into personal impressions and experiences. But maybe they can help the viewer to complete his own ideas. It was a great shock to all of us when Professor Psakir suddenly and unexpectedly left us last year. But he is living on in his work, in his family, in our thoughts and maybe a tiny bit in this movie. <laughs>